Imagine walking through a dense forest a hundred million years ago. Everything around you feels strange. The trees are enormous, the humidity suffocates your breath, and mist fills the air. Suddenly, you catch a glimpse of a small creature swiftly moving between the branches. A creature that seems simple in size, but inside it holds a silent terror. It's the hell ant, an insect that lived in the age of the dinosaurs, but it wasn't like any ant we know today. It had jaws that moved up and down with lightning speed, and between them, a sharp horn protruded from its head. It waited with deadly patience, and when its prey got close, its jaws snapped shut and pushed it toward the jagged horn with a blow from which there was no escape. What a deadly trap! This ant was a natural-born hunter. It didn't rely on its size or strength, but on its strange, intelligent design and its lethal speed. In that ancient world, survival wasn't for the largest or the strongest, but for the fastest and most cunning. And the hell ant was the master of cunning. But despite its brilliance, it couldn't survive the great changes that swept the earth. After millions of years, it disappeared, leaving no living trace behind, except for its bodies preserved in amber. Amber, which was once just tree resin that dried and hardened over time, carrying with it stories of extinct lives. These rare pieces are now true scientific treasures, but they have also become precious targets in the black market. Small pieces of amber are smuggled and sold for astronomical prices, sometimes containing incredible creatures and sometimes being nothing more than counterfeit tricks. Can you imagine how sad it is that the secrets of millions of years are lost because of human greed? Merchants with no morals have started embedding modern insects in synthetic resin and selling them as ancient amber. But scientists have their methods. Detecting counterfeits is no longer easy. Thanks to x-rays and chemical analysis, it's possible to distinguish real amber from fake, and to know whether the insects trapped inside it have been there for millions of years or just months. Among all these stories, the hell ant remains a true icon, a symbol of a strange world that lived and died before the first human was born. Its story teaches us that intelligence and design can defeat size, and that the fiercest fighters might be the smallest creatures. And it reminds us that history wasn't only written by giant creatures, but also by those we can barely see when we look closely at a drop of ancient resin. And when you hold a transparent piece of amber and see that tiny ant inside, you feel like you're touching time, as if you're listening to the whispers of a long-lost era, one that has vanished but left us its traces in a language only those who understand that the greatest stories are hidden in the smallest of creatures can comprehend.